Hello, this is Julie, Silver Stitches here. Um, I'm just going to be here for a few minutes because I'm, it's late. Anyway, today is Sunday, March the 5th, 2023, and I'm here for my weekly update. I'm feeling okay, I'm better, but I'm not better at the same time. It's never going away, but it just feels okay for now. Um, I had two new starts, three new starts, three new starts since I last saw you, and here we go. So I'm just going to pick up off the pile the majority of the day today. I sp that was loud. I spent sorting out my flosses. They stay in this box. Um, I'm converting them all to uh, floss shops that I've made, and they are... Just on a ring. So each color has its own flash drop and they're sorted by number. Um, and I have four rings. Um, my goal is to just then pick, pick out the, pick, sorry, pick out the colors instead of pick out the whole thing. Um, so just get a strand or two of each of the colors that I'm using and go from there. Um, I'll start out with I was going to start out with my temperature, my black work temperature cell, but I will start out with my 25-7, which I didn't actually work on today. Um, not yet at least. And it's 8.30 or 9 o'clock at night. Um, so my 25-7 piece is a cat owner's welcome. It's multiple cat owner's welcome, actually, on the bottom here. Um, it says all guests must be approved by the cats. And I'm using a call for DMC. Uh, it is called for... Uh, Weeks Dye Works, but I don't have any of that, so DMC it is. It looks great. It's on a 14 count beige Ada. And so I was able to fill in um, approved and by T and then the line of H, but I didn't get there yet. Maybe I'll work on it today. Um, maybe not, because I'm kind of really tired. The next thing that I worked the most on was a new start. And the new start is um, Randall Spangler's... Is it a new start or did I just continue it? Not sure. Anyway, uh, Randall Spangler's It's a mini. It is Mini Dragon in the Morning. Um, it's gonna look like this. And I have cats, just so you know. My name is Julie, by the way. And my life is, is it's crazy all the time. Okay. So uh, as of today, I'll put the amount of stitches I have down here, because I have no idea. Um, I have made it from the left side to the right side. I've decided that I want to, um, I should have taken a screenshot of what I've cut out, because it's hard to describe, so... I've definitely taken off the top and bottom, um, top and bottom and left and right sides of the, of the chart, um, and then I've kind of made it like a zigzag down like this, uh, to go out to the edges. Um, it's been really fun. Uh, I try and try when I do stitch on it, I try and get 300 stitches at least today, I want to try and finish it by Christmas. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm keeping all of my 
threads. I don't have them all yet, but I'm keeping them all on homemade floss cards. Um, I just took a sticker, like a, like a label sticker, wrote the numbers, um, wrote all the colors, and then I'm just taking one strand instead of having the whole length of floss on it. Um, just one strand, like one strand of six, or however many, and just going through the whole project like that. It's way less on the accumulation of threads, so that's good. And it's just staying inside this pencil case, so everything fits inside. Um, I'm thinking of switching everything, not everything, but picking up more pencil cases, essentially, to store uh, larger projects, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I did have two new starts, so the first new start is, is it in there? That zipped it up. Yes, the first new start of the week uh, of March was um, Be Scary by... Needle Bling Design. Uh, I'm doing it on a antique white 14 count Ada, and this is where I've gotten to. Just the top, just part of the top of the border. Um, the second piece that I started this week, um, started it last night actually, is going to be right here. Uh, it's You Got This by, I'll put all the information here, I have no idea, and I'm using a variegated purple from uh, Roxy Flosco, so, yep. Um, I wasn't going to film, but then I figured this would be the first one that I missed, so I can do that. Um... The next thing that I've been working on, I've only put two or three rows in, but I did, I did decide to try and start doing part of her body was uh, Miss Goss Swallowtail by Nora Corbett. And so I got tired of working on the wing, so I moved up into her back. Um, but I did get a few rows of her wing completed, um, and now I'm just filling in uh, her back and her neck, and maybe I'll do her hair, but I feel like there's a lot of beads in her hair, so we'll see how that goes when I get to it. This is on a 16 count white Ada, uh, two over one. I'm really just trying to figure out what happened to the temperature cell. Is it in there and I miss it? Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um, it was in my bedroom. So, um, I'm doing the peppermint purple temperature black work. Nope, not temperature. I'm doing the peppermint, peppermint purple black work cell for 2023. Um, I am using it as a temperature cell, so I am averaging the high and the low of each week. Um, I've decided to do the cross-stitch version of it, so it's black work and cross-stitch. Um, so here we go. This is week nine. Is this one right here. So week one, week two, week three, week four. Week 5, week 6, week 7, week 8, week 9. So it's interesting to see what weeks were kind of the same temperature range. Um, I'm really liking how this is turning out. And I don't have to grid for another 3 weeks. Yippee! Oh, 4 weeks. So I'm really happy with this one. It's turning out really well. Um, I am ready to get into the plus temperatures though, just like everybody else. Um, 
I can't wait. So, uh, a little bit more about the boxes. This box of... This box. Um, it's got... Like I said before, it's got four rings full of DMC threads. So, it looks like a big pile of mess right now, but this is one of the rings. Um, for some of them, not that one, but for some of them... I have added a little tag to say, you know, this is color number, this to that, um, just to make it a little bit easier, just so if I'm trying to find a specific color, I know, you know, which range to go through. Um, other than that, uh, it was treatment week, so there was um, not a lot of, well, there was a lot of, oh, I have one more thing. There was a lot of downtime, but there wasn't a lot of downtime at the same time. Sorry. Um, I did try to get this up. Sorry, phone flipped. Mm -hmm. That's what I get from moving around my phone on the table when it's... But why? Sorry. Okay. Um, it's just leaning up against it. Uh, anyways, so um, I started this a long time ago. It was a pattern off of Etsy. I'll put all the information down here. And I'll get it out of its uh, Pokeballs. I can't remember who the designer is. I wanted to try and finish it today, but I also want to stitch it with all of the called for colors. And so I added in the gray, I don't know if you can see it, um, in each of the each of the Pokeballs. For the project bag, I am using a mask. Uh, it used to hold masks when I first bought them at the store. Um, and it works because the project's only yay big. So, mm, yay big. I just showed you the back. That's okay. Um, my cats want to play. So, you know, it doesn't matter what time of day it is. They always want to play. So, it is going to be a short and sweet one because I kind of want to go to bed because I'm exhausted. But, um... I hope you guys have a great day and a great night and a great week and a great stitching time. Um, I hope that you get in all the stitching that you want. And so, sparkle and shine. Have a great night. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.